Okay, welcome to the Deerfield Finance Committee meeting of April 16th. It is the 16th, right? Yep. <clears throat> uh, first, first item on the agenda is the uh, minutes from the April 2nd meeting. I know, I didn't have it. I turned the wrong one. Fine, I got fired. Um, under Oxford Pickle, current interest rate is 4.2%, not dollar sign. I can't, oh, type, okay. I can't type very well. Close enough. <laughs> You'll notice there's a difference in the revote of the salary compensation plan. Most of it's due to Medicare proration for the enterprise funds and um, overtime from what Brenda had initially told us. Can I have a correction on the Oxford Pickle? Yep. It says total free cash to be used is 63K. Yep. Actually, total total free cash to be used is 194,000 some. Oh, that's right. It's just that it's only 63,000 more than what was budgeted to make one payment this year anyway. So when I put 190 plus or minus. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you that should be 122, 5110. Okay. So, say that again. Brenda, what was the total free cash? So, total free cash that you're spending is the difference between the 299,000 and 105,000. So, free cash is 194,000 that you're spending. It's just that you had already budgeted um, okay. 120 Five. some thousand <laughs> yeah. to, to make that payment in fiscal yeah. 20. You're taking that out and putting it all here. So. They won't. Oh. Was it no. What were you? 20 by just recommended FC meeting. They don't agree? No, for example, 141.51.10. Is my the yeah. sheet that what do you got? Oh, yeah, I don't know, right? If it's a, no, it's a, it's a typo, so we should correct that. On yeah, the I got it. Which one was that, John? Uh, 141 51 10 typo says 69 should be 59. All of us, I think, should are. probably check now. Mm. So it's the recommended amount that, yes, the recommended amount was off by 10. <clears throat> but the revised recommended amount was the six three six six. Is it hot in here? Is it? It's hot. Should increase the heating budget. Hmm. Don't need to increase the heating budget. You're right. Any, any other corrections? No, I'll make a motion. Move the minutes, April 2nd minutes, with the uh, corrections. Second. It's moved, seconded. Any other discussion? All of those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions. So it's uh, six zero zero. Okay. The one item, the what? One of the main purposes of meeting tonight was to go over the uh, the warrant and the motions for the annual town meeting, but we don't have them. So. Next Tuesday, is that okay with everybody? Okay. Tuesday, the 23rd? The 23rd, yes. 6 o'clock again? Works yes. For me. So, in, unless something else comes up, the only thing that will be there are the, is the uh, 
Town needed meeting warrant with with the motions. <coughs> um, there was a um, stipend approved at the Slot and Five Select Woods meeting for the acting building commissioner. We Is haven't. Uh, in, in this office over here, we yeah. have not received any information about that, so um, nothing has been done. Nothing will be done in 19 or it will be done in 20? Well, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, if somebody, if the select board would like to give us a formal memo telling us what to do, then we will do it. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> Dick was asking about. Would it be out of the 19 budget? Yes, it, yes. it would be in 19. So, um, okay. and, and, and there was sufficient room in that budget to do so. So, do, does the budget, the budget has enough money in it to cover that stipend, so there yes. isn't any need for? No, no reserve, no, no transfers. Okay. So I'm not sure whether we need to look at that or not. I mean, it'd be nice to know. I know. Yeah. That's what I felt, too. Yeah. At least get a notice from somebody saying <coughs> yeah. somebody's spending money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got two or three items, I think, to take a look at. We've got the Frontier Transportation. Frontier, the frontier Transportation. I was not able to get an under, a clearer understanding of Frontier's transportation figure. That is what was bid. And it is, in fact, $92,000 more than what uh, we appropriated last year. 130% yeah. more. I thought that bill went down, no? No. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, mean, I thought there, the total. Each town got its own bid. Broken in. It was one bid with each town plus the regional school. Each had a, yeah. a dollar amount. Mm -hmm. My understanding that the elementary schools received less. That's what it was then. Okay. Yeah. Then last year, and they put more on the regional Front. school this year, huh. thinking that they were going to get more of the transportation. Higher percentage of reimbursement. Reimbursement. There's, there's no basic, re so I understand there's no reimbursement at the elementary level. Right. Well, there is. Right. We oh. have received reimbursement yeah. um, a couple of the five years that I've been here. But For uh, how does that compare? Special? It's, just a, it's just a transportation credit that we get oh. uh, or have gotten. But it's nothing that's in the cherry sheet. Right. No, it is not in the cherry sheet. It just happens when it happens. If it happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. So... I will be more than happy to entertain a motion. Uh, somebody's willing to make it for. What number are we? That's it. Three fifteen fifty eight hundred. Page two. Yeah, three twelve fifty eight hundred or three fifteen fifty eight hundred. Right here. What's the number now? One ninety one. I know. I got it right here. It's one sixty two. One sixty two. One sixty two. Two fifty one. We don't have a sheet. No. Like, yes, you do. You have a sheet in your in your books. It says 162251, right? Correct. Yeah, 130%. I don't remember. Just Deerfield portion, huh? Correct. Don't have a whole lot of choice on that one. I'll make a motion to approve that item. Uh, so there's one up 133. There's one up 125. They all went up as much as, as ours. We have a motion. I'll second. Second. Any discussion? So, so all the all of the transportation costs for every the, every town went up at least 125 hmm. percent. Um, so, at all the other towns. All the other towns. It went up. It went up equally as much as it did for Deerfield. 
That's a, that's a huge. Challenge. So overall, it doesn't sound twenty five percent increase. Not for what I heard. Take other, everything together. Well, it went up one hundred and thirty three percent for Conway, one hundred and thirty for us. 125 percent for Sunderland, 131 percent for Wheatley. I believe it's in the I believe it's in the uh, in the budget. That's the individual towns, right? Mm -hmm. What about Frontier? Well, overall, that was uh, so overall. Oh, well, we're went talking up, about elementary percent. Yeah. yeah, but not the elementary schools. Um, no, I'm talking oh, Frontier. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Right, because they can go up. right down. So we have a motion. Did we have a second? Yes. Yes. We have motion second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So five zero one. Uh three one five dash five eight zero zero. Thank you. Okay, we have we have two items there, right? Uh, we take. No, you really have three, but you were going to ignore one of them. Okay, we are. <laughs> well, at least we're going to start with snow and ice, uh, and that's an estimate thirty-seven five. It is the twenty-two thousand that we already have. That you already have bills for. Yeah, twenty-five thousand that we already have bills for. <coughs> He was thinking uh, could be anywhere between nine and twelve thousand more for salt. So I just threw in thirty-seven five. It'll get adjusted when I have that invoice, and I better have that invoice by next Monday or Tuesday. So, and he and he knows it. <laughs> well, I mean, we've got until he's got until the end of the year to. We do but buy it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and and that is that's the uh, that's salt. Treated salt that he would yeah, be buying. Treated, treated salt is what the additional twelve thousand ten to twelve thousand dollars is. So, do you have a motion on it? The entire thirty-seven thousand five hundred. It's no nice. We're not going to get it. I was going to say if, if you approve this number, I'll let you know when it when it gets adjusted and by how much. It, but it shouldn't be much. It should be pretty close. It, I mean, this is for this is for 19. So, right. be a total of like 106 and a half roughly for the year. It's a little less than. Actually, do, should that be on this? It should be. Mm -hmm. Or should that should this be for 20? No, this, no, this is, has half. to be a 19. Should it be on this uh, 20 it, budget? Right here. Okay. It's it's a it's an FY19 adjustment. Okay. To the twenty budget. No, it, it no, it's it's going to be it's going to be for fiscal year nineteen, and it'll say that in the warrant article and okay. the motion. Okay. All right. So yeah. this is not a twenty budget item. No. no. And 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 for that matter, the Oxford debt would probably be two thousand nineteen also. Because yes. We want to be. get that paid off before the end of the fiscal year. And we've already approved snow and ice. Yeah, we had approved snow and ice at. At, uh, I don't know what we'd approve it. Well, it was I had it just plugged in at fifty thousand for. No, the the budget item. Uh, Twenty. Was eighty thousand. Uh, right. ninety. Ninety thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we had voted that in February. Yeah. Uh, next to last item. Maybe, maybe. So you're looking. Do we need a motion? So do you want to? Do we do we have a motion? No, I'll, I'll do a motion for thirty-seven five for the winter snow and ice removal. I'll second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Uh, six zero zero. 
Uh, what was the other one? Capital that stabilization. You oh, that's right. Capital that? stabilization. What, what about the police motor? Yeah, I want to well, go. that's an addition. So that's. Uh, that is in the we, in the town meeting warrant. It's an article. We have to vote. We have to make a recommendation. Yeah, yeah but do you want to do we that? We do it under motions. Do you want to do that when we go through the motions, or do you want to do that today? I don't know. I, it's, Skip it's kind of felt like you had already made a decision on it, but the. Uh, <clears throat> The Capital Improvement Committee had postponed or had set it aside and said no, I guess. Is that that's correct? correct? No. Um, what's that? The uh, motorcycle. motorcycle. We, no, we, we had not recommended it. Okay, so it was not recommended. It was not in the capital plan. Right. Uh, so when we took the capital plan out, it was not there. Right. So the question is, what do you want to do with it now? Capital? We already voted. We, 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 we voted. It, it is, it is the there. IPC. It is in the capital plan, but as not recommended. But the yeah. finance, I think we followed the wording of the CIPC, and we did not recommend it. Correct. I believe. Well, we, what we, we, what we did is we recommended. What was recommended? We recommended. We agreed with what was recommended by the capital improvement committee so in effect so zero. in effect we we agreed to zero on right. march 12th correct right yeah. leave it at that so what's 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 up with me? i from my understanding i believe the chief is going to ask for an article to be mm -hmm. put on it, 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 is. it is okay so so let that play out at the on the floor yep. as far as leave it up to the voters I think that's a slippery slope doing that too. Hmm. Uh, what's to, what's it, to prevent right? some other department well, saying, "Well, I think I want it on the town floor." It's, up to the it's opening up a can. I, it's opening up to everybody. I think. Yep. I agree. Yeah, it's kind well, of like, not what's, a good policy. What's right. why bother having the CIPC? CIPC. If anybody wants to propose an article from town meeting floor, they can do it. Well, they can, mm -hmm. and the but that, don't they need a certain number of um, signatures to do it? Ten. Do they have ten for the motorcycle? Uh, actually, it was after the uh, deadline. I know. So. So it's not even votable. Well, the select board has the ability, I believe. I, to open uh, that's the where it all falls, I guess. That's yeah. where I think yeah. it's slippery. Yep. Then maybe Kevin's going to come up and say, I want my mini excavator. Yeah, I don't think I too. would follow him. I think well, it's, it's too late now. The more it's it's not fair. We couldn't add that article. I agree with you. So, but, but it's going to happen again. Yeah. <clears throat> but unfortunately, I don't believe our committee has any real sale. No, I, I, I no, 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 no. No, we don't. No, no, so, not, not you guys. Right. But I understand what no, everybody's saying. You didn't say. set the precedent. No. Hmm. But I guess that's good. Not in our jurisdiction, right? Nope, not now. Mm -hmm. not, until, not until we review the articles. Right, and not recommend it, or whatever. <clears throat> capital stabilization, you said? Capital stabilization. You want to talk about, because this is all coming out of free cash. Right, if, if you want to look at your revenue detail, um, I know some of us talked about this before the meeting, but if you look at the revenue detail, detail on page two, the use of free cash, you'll see that we, um, with all of the recommendations that are made or the requests that were made, if we, if all of those were approved at town meeting, then we would have spent a million thirty-five thousand, which leaves us with two hundred and forty-three thousand basically in free cash left at the end of the year, using the 150000 for capital stabilization. So the one million oh thirty five is what's used? Yeah. Can I have a question? Sure. Um, the, do the residents get to vote on the $500,000 we put as a backstop? There. No. There is. There is. So the, no, they that's don't just, have the that's choice. Just, that's just budgeting conservatively. Yeah. But for then the, the actual number is not 
a net free cash. What we have left, it's not spent. Well, yeah, it is. Is my point. It is spent. It's 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 set aside. It's not spent. What what is what we said? If you take a look at uh, five hundred thousand. No, if you take a look at local receipts. On page, on page, page one, one of, of the mm -hmm. revenue detail. Yep. Local receipts where it says all estimates and the total estimated amount is 1,688,000. Yep. That's $500 plus thousand dollars short of what the actual estimate is. Well, then somebody needs to explain that in town meeting floor. It's been this way. Because we're spending taxpayers' money. It's been this way. No, you're budgeting mm -hmm. conservatively in case you have any yeah. downturns. Oh, I understand. Plus, that. you plus you know you're never gonna you're never gonna collect all of your taxes in that year. You're never gonna collect all the excise. I mean, you you have to keep in keep into account. The, I mean, this is just this is just being fiscally responsible. Well, I I agree that it was. There's no question in my mind. But we're taking five hundred thousand dollars of taxpayers' money, and we're not telling them what we're doing with it. No, you're, you're budgeting conservatively like every town should. We initially, well, this is the first year we put free cash into local receipts. No. No. No? We've always budgeted conservatively well, for local done. receipts. We've always this is nothing different than what we've we ever done. I thought we always took 80% of my, well, the five-year average. This is the, nothing different than what we've been doing that's for the last. Is. Approximately. Um, years. I think you're calling it something different this year, right? You well, that was my feeling. How does the five hundred thousand dollars accounted for that? <clears throat> if uh, we're taking eighty five year average, in other words, we had five hundred thousand dollars in the last five yes. years budgets yeah. also. It'll yeah. wind up in next year's. Oh, I agree. Yes. I agree. So we're, we're going to carry forward potentially seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah. 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 That's but they no. cut the CIPC budget because of that. Correct. Stabilization. Correct. So that we would have that that half million dollars. No, so we would have seven hundred and twenty nine. Well, okay. Actually so, it's seven hundred and forty three. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Agreed. Right. And Whatever I think I think right. I think I think the CIPC should ask for another hundred thousand. And yeah. I don't know I know the select board uh Discuss this with the CIPC stabilization fund, and thought the 150,000 would be appropriate. I, I'm not sure was the select board aware that the 500,000 was also set aside, so it wasn't just the 243 yes. we were talking about. I think early on in this budget season, I think. Skip had brought up that discussion of doing the 500,000, and that yeah, was going to be conservative, and then we would have the Right. You know, then we thought, I mean, it, I think and originally I we were talking about 50,000 or would we put any in and we felt we had enough room to do at least 150. In, in talking about it, I probably should have been a little more precise. It isn't that we're taking $500,000 and setting it aside. What we're actually doing is we're appropriating, it, we're appropriating less money in local receipts by about $500,000 than we anticipate receiving. And that's what we've done for the past five years. <clears throat> and that's what we've done for the past forever. Well, forever that I we've taken five hundred thousand dollars of free cash. Not we've been there about we've that figure we've has we've 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 yes, they have done that. We have done that before. Yeah. I just remember, don't remember the last two well, years. What we've done is we use that eighty percent rule. Right. I agree. <clears throat> and that that has the effect of carrying over a give or take Five hundred thousand dollars, which will be in free cash next year. I know we doubled that this year. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. I think the question is if you use the five-year rule, and if, if the eighty percent is five hundred thousand, we've already accounted for the twenty percent cushion. We've now added five hundred thousand dollars no. for free cash. No. Because no. because it's your it's your fiscal year nineteen receipts that'll go into free cash, so fiscal year nineteen is producing yeah. probably around five six hundred thousand in free cash that you're going to have available to you next year. 
then in doing this budget, this budget hopefully will produce that same amount in the following year. Karen. So it's basically, yes. Now, there is, there is the possibility exactly. that, that this local receipts, in. that the local receipts will not come in. And, and that did happen that, in 2008, 2009. Yeah. You, you, no, I understand that. Yeah. But I don't remember last year specifically using free cash we, as a okay, backstop to revenues. We did. It might not have been as, as it, uh, it implicit, has, right? As implicit as last year. It hasn't been presented that way in the past. The it's just, it's well, just we, we conservative it estimates. So we carried over $350,000 in free cash last year. But we underestimated right. local receipts by approximately 500000 So the net effect was? 150. 850. 850, right. give or take. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it could be a million, is my yeah. point. Some yes. Years. Yeah, some years, yeah. This could be a million just there, it plus the 200 something thousand, which is a, okay. No, you, you, it's a mute point. We, we have basically three revenue sources. I, or, or, excuse me, three revenue sources that we have. Taxes, and again, those are estimates. Local receipts, state aid, and then we have available free cash, which is not a revenue item. So if you add up all of the other items, we're going to spend more than that by approximately 400,000. I don't know what the numbers really come up to, but the, the effect is that we will basically leave on the table a grand total of $750,000. And that shows up next year as free cash. Plus whatever. Plus, plus. whatever we, you know, if we bring in. Plus the 80%. Plus the twenty percent of revenues if we reach a hundred percent ab five year average, right? If we reach the five year average, the hundred percent, right? Then we will have about five hundred thousand more in now free that, cash. That's what makes up. That's fine. My my only concern is when we certify in in the fall, winter, whatever the case may be. Also, when we look at that free cash. And instead of the 500,000 or the 750,000, all of a sudden now we're looking at, and I know we want to be conservative and we want to protect the town just in case we have a downturn, but boy, every year when people see that free cash figure at 1.2 million, 1.5 million, 1.8 million, mm -hmm. uh, it, it sends the wrong message. And then when we try to do our jobs as far as committees deal with finances and that, and we keep telling people, look, money's going to be tight, money's going to be tight, and then you show up with a free cash figure like that, it's, it almost makes us sound like we're crying wolf. And if you're not in the process and you, and you, really and you don't have generally. a good handle on the process, if you're not dealing with it on a daily basis, it looks then like it looks the like right the appearance, and all of a sudden, and that's and that's tough. That's tough to uh, you know have good solid conversations with with the taxpayers without them having all the background that the yeah, people on committees in. So a lot it makes more nuance to it, right? Yeah, really it makes it makes idea. it difficult. So I am a little concerned about that. And I, I don't know, that Some just that. might be my own personal concern, but I understand we want to be conservative, but is there a... I think we're getting better at it. I think the, you know, really taking a good look at it this year, and I think the idea to just kind of call it what it is this year was an improvement. And I think, you know, in some years you get, you know, some nonprofit builds a gigantic building, you wind up with a much bigger right. receipt than you expect. I don't know what's on so the docket for next just, year. Just for, the, just for discussion purposes. They're losing Channing Beat, you know, it's not going to help At this at point all. in right. time, exactly. we do not know what the FY19 property tax revenues are going to be. Mm -hmm. we, we said a year ago that we anticipate and, and what were the tax levy limit, 11386000 But you won't know what those are until what? 
August? August? Well, we know half of it, right? No, we know three quarters of it at this point. But right. it will be August before we get an actual figure. And by that point in time, FY19 is gone. So if we're $200,000 short there, it's going to be made up someplace. Well, we've already made it up. You said we put money aside out of free cash for FY19. Well, at this point, no, it's not. It's the only place that we've, we've used some free cash, and I don't know what the number in free cash was, we use 1.5 million in free cash. All right. To reduce the taxation. To reduce, in effect, to reduce. Well, yes. Yeah. To allow us to spend more than the taxes, sir. Yeah. Allow us to spend. Allow us to spend more. What the other one that you're, you're not seeing is we we're estimating last year 1,560,000 in local receipts. Right. And we'll we won't know what those are until. August or September of this year. Understood. Coming up. So those are still estimates. Majority of that is taxation now. I mean, you know, half of it, right well, off the bat. Right? Of what? Of the total number of one. Oh, um, no, that's right. Our revenue. We, I mean, the unfortunate thing is we don't know for 24 months what the actual revenue picture is. Well, motor vehicle, you know already. No, we don't. Everybody's paid the motor vehicle excise tax. Not necessarily. So we paid every March. They do, but that doesn't necessarily mean we, we've got it all. And, and I know, but we know how much we have. Well, Brenda can tell us what, what we brought in so far. She can also tell us what we brought in at taxes. Right. And we're about $4 million short. Right, because we only had half of the tax bill. Well, so. Tax bill is yeah, another 15 so, more days to pay your taxes. Yes, yes. So th those oh, are the numbers that were. Please pay your taxes. Fine. Good point. And cherry, cherry sheet revenues, we don't know what all of those are until we get the last payments in. And those come in in July, usually, right? Something in July or August? Yeah, and sometimes they're even later than that, so sometimes yeah. we're shorted. And, and the um, charter school and school choice is really a floating thing. They don't know really until October as to what that's going to be, so. We don't know what we're paying out. We don't know what we're bringing in. So that's the, re that's the, that's the reason, is that the, the lack of knowledge for <clears throat> at least 30 days, at least 90 days after the tax year is over, mm -hmm. what, uh, what we've actually brought in. My question, though, is if, um, what was your point? Would you want more money in stabilization versus just yes. having it in free cash? Yes. Yes. Because yes. what would that do compared to what? It would we're control doing? our spending. It'll. It'll. You, you don't want us. To we'll have, have less free cash spend. next year. Less free yeah. cash in the in the coming year. And more of the ability, um, mm -hmm. unlikelihood that we would, the likelihood that we would spend the money for something we needed, not something we want. It could how do we right because it, we'd have be to go through between wants and needs right we have it in the stabilization two thirds fund. vote right we'd have it in the stabilization fund I think would make people stop and think how they wanted to spend that before they spent it in free cash when you call it free cash it, it's almost like the old credit card routine we'll worry about later let's get it we'll worry about later let's get it. With a stabilization fund, no, you're paying for it up front. Do we do that now, though? Do we just willy nilly buy stuff? I'm trying to figure out. I mean, that's what I'm trying to understand. Like, where do we I think like, it was, go, it, you know, haywire and buy stuff we right. don't need? I think it was more prevalent in previous years. I think the last right. couple of years we've been smart but and been trouble, putting things yeah. aside. Put money if you don't put it aside, at least the, town, the townspeople will be able to know we have that. that you have it The there. backstop is a yep. cushion. Yep. Without it being a cushion, it could be spent at any time. It could be spent to balance a budget can, can when things you, that we don't want to do. Can you put money, that free cash, into, I don't know for who I'm asking, but can you put it from um, free cash into stabilization? Can you pull it back out to, to do O&M, your regular budget? 
like if you were short yes. somewhere. Um, you regular would... regular stabilization. I think there regular. are towns that have done that, uh, but it still no requires a two thirds vote of to town, get it out yeah. town yeah. for, for an item that. that was short. There, so you had a yeah. bridge go out or whatever it might be. Right. Well, Sorry. we've used it. The only t two times that I Fox. remember using it was when we built the highway garage. Okay. And I believe I could be. And this is just going back yep. too far. The elementary school we built the elementary, but I'm not sure about that either. Right. We may not have used any. Yeah. But the only time I do remember recently, and that was five years ago, six years ago, yep. 12, 2012, seven years ago, we took a million dollars out of oh, the highway garage, yes, to okay. uh, to reduce how much you were going to have to raise. The, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. amount that we're going to have to borrow. The, the, Right. So we ended up borrowing 4.9 million as opposed to 5.9 million. So how much did we carry forward in the FY19 budget of free cash last year? Last year? Uh, well, three, into, oh, it's 320,000. 320,000, and we were we underestimated, or we. Okay, that's what we. Right. So, so that's that's what, what, supposedly the same so thing. Given, so the reason that we had 1.2 million. Right. We carried over three hundred thousand, and we underestimated local receipts by so five hundred thousand. That, that underestimation last year was done between, not at this meeting. It, it, the finance committee had yeah. made that decision long, early long, on. Long, long years we, and years ago. We, no, we don't, we don't actually we, vote to local receipts, so. Right. You, or, you, and we don't vote taxes, and we don't vote that. No, really is somebody made there. a decision of five hundred thousand. We all kind of agreed upon. Yeah, but there's not much we could do about it, even if we didn't agree. Okay. That that I, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. That's where that where that actually transpires is between the town accountant and the, and the uh, assessor. Right. In the, in the end, that's the decision yeah. that gets made is between John and I. But um, but but initially, the finance committee was looking at that and saying, okay, 80 to 85 percent oh, in a five-year. Yes, yeah. you you were but looking I, at I that. I didn't realize what the five-year average, average was. Five yeah, it's, year it's average on that include, spreadsheet. Oh my goodness! I mean, I, yeah, I'm looking you. at what we have here yeah. now, but I mean, I didn't realize we had supplemented that five-year <laughs> average every year with free cash. Well, yeah, basically by using free cash, you yes, exactly, in order to balance the budget. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so what were we talking about? I was going to say something. Stabilization. <laughs> oh. Capital stabilization. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we? Oh, maybe I wasn't going to say Talking about regular stabilization or capital so, stabilization? Capital stabilization. So basically, if, if you, if you decided the 250, then we'd be carrying over 142,000. Is that is there anything wrong with that? A lot of towns use up all of their free cash. Yeah. Oh yes, and not only that, they I, use I know. up right. I know. they but. use up local receipts, and then they uh, then they have a problem. Uh, I think if John John was here, he would say that we have a policy that holds a certain percentage of free cash as a carryover. I think that was a misguided policy. I'm just was, saying, if yeah, he was here, I, he would say that. I know that. you're right. Yeah, and I think that's something that selectmen had done years ago. We should have a policy. The town should have a policy. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Put that on your topic for a retreat. Debt stabilization probably should be labeled capital stabilization. It is. Yeah. It, uh, on the individual sheet, I have right. it as capital stabilization. I don't think I've, I printed one out for anybody, but. Because it, because it, last year we did two. We did yeah. regular stabilization and we did capital. So that's in the yeah, details you on the budget the, uh, sheet. Right. There was a discussion as to whether it was going to be half a million into capital stabilization. And, and it is and the article we, is set up to be capital stabilization. Yeah. Yes. Last year we yes. split it. Split yeah. it. Yeah. Right. What was the total? This is capital, right? The total split last year was five five hundred thousand. Right. Four. Quarter of a million each. Yep. Right. Regular stabilization. Yep. Right. And now we're doing 150. And now we're doing 150. For so the capital stabilization. That's because our free cash number this year 
is six hundred thousand dollars, approximately six hundred thousand dollars less, less than it was last year. Right. And so you and you chose to pay off the too. Oxford loan. I think that was part of the yeah, other. That is yeah, correct. The, yeah, no, the other thing that's factoring in there. Yeah, but I mean, the the point is that we we actually had less free cash this year, and the procedures that we used last year and this year were essentially the same. The, the half a million dollars, the estimate for local receipts last year was a half a million dollars below what we what the projection would be if you used uh, you know, if you, you went by what we'd gotten over the past five years or six years. You so, take away oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. You take away the Oxford debt. If we weren't doing that, we'd have we could use four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Hundred and ninety thousand more. Right. Well yeah. yes so and no. We want to no. Do it? That's well, it's right. really we not close all of it. Well we could leave it free cash. Uh, the, the Oxford debt, debt this, the Oxford debt, we're taking, <clears throat> while we're saying it's 100, what is 190,000? We have already set aside $120,000 right, right. that's in, in the budget to pay that loan payment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So what are we waiting for? A motion on the capital stabilization? Correct. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that recommend one hundred fifty thousand dollars for capital stabilization. I'll second that. Any further discussion? I just I'm wondering if <clears throat> part of this discussion, if there were people who wanted that number to be higher, mm -hmm. um, and then if anybody, I mean, I I don't want to necessarily change. Be, be a person to change that motion. I'm just wondering if that's where that discussion was going and, and where everybody landed on it if they wanted to recommend a higher number. We actually, the recommendation for or the request the recommendation, we're going to call it. It was 250, Catholic right? Committee was right. a quarter from that. Yeah. 250. We brought it down because of the. We Oxford brought it down for, for a couple of reasons. One, the 60 something thousand dollars mm -hmm. that we're, at least my, in my opinion, I could be the only one. It seemed to be more important that we pay off that from yeah, our Oxford absolutely. loan and stop paying the interest. Right. We were I think all in agreement on that. Agreement. Stick yeah. money into. So that took an extra $65,000. And we've got the motorcycle in there at some point in time, whether we like it or not. That was $13,000? Thirteen thousand. Thirteen five. So it that's might, it. Might we have another 15000 potential, too. What's... Oh, right. You want to explain that? What, the the fifteen thousand that you're going to amend on Tommy the floor? Yeah, I haven't made a decision yet whether I would amend that or not. But okay. that was a question. What was that discussion? Mm -hmm. I what think is, I, what I is think that? Smart business to do that to amend the um, capital plan on the town common to hold instead of forty thousand fifty five thousand for the engineering work that we had an estimate of about ninety. <clears throat> so it's a little late, isn't it? Yeah. What happened? What happened to the December? I put it. Up, I put it in December, and I was denied. I was given forty instead of the uh, what, what did I ask for? Seventy-five, I think. So uh, and, and originally, forty in each year. And right. I originally, the, right. Originally, the request so your request was seventy-five is on not paperwork. A request from the selectmen. Or? Uh, well, I would talk to the selectmen about it. Yeah. I mean, I mentioned it to them. I brought it up in meetings. That that's kind of one area that I thought. We would be shortchanging ourselves when we get into that process that we're not going to have the funds. If there's another pot of money I could go to and not have to raise that, that I'm fine with that. If you guys are open to a transfer, if we need it, you know, halfway through the year. But Trevor brought that up well, yeah. after we had our public meeting on the on the uh, capital second. improvement plan, and at the last finance committee meeting too. Mm -hmm. I remember you and brought that so, up. And yeah. so that was that was something that obviously we couldn't change because right. it's already. So we mentioned I said, that I Trevor. Said the only option was to make it a uh, you know a pitch for it on town town right. floor and amend the, amend the uh, right. capital plan. Uh, so then we're I, rounding that to one hundred thousand fifteen thousand to bring that down to one. Where's it going to come from? Free cash. Free cash. Okay. Free cash. Right. So right. So if all then of those the free things. cash will go down to two twenty seven or something like that. Two twenty five. 
Okay. Going well, away. Right. So you use another hundred thousand in capital stabilization, and you could really have barely a hundred thousand or a little over a hundred thousand left yeah. to carry right. over. So yeah, so that makes sense. We I just it sounds like everybody's happy with that number right. ultimately. Well Except for Bruce. The the <laughs> capital <laughs> improvement committee discussed the two hundred and fifty. Yeah. And we felt we would request that if but we available. understood that money was going to be tight. So that was depending on available funds. Yep. Now, somebody could make the argument here, I guess, of, well, you really do have the available funds. Let's roll a dice and do it and do the 250 mm -hmm. instead of the 150. Yep. Uh, there was talk. We had left it at the, at the 250. The select board, when they looked over the finances, uh, came up with 150000 mm -hmm. Uh, for a figure, and I believe you voted that, correct? Yes. So they had voted 150 for that and brought that forward. As far as a committee, a CIPC committee, we we have not met since then, obviously, because we've had we presented the capital plan, mm -hmm. had the public hearing. Mm -hmm. So even even if we wanted to, we couldn't change that number at this stage of the game. Right. So we could though, if if the CIPC committee I guess felt very strongly to leave the number at two fifty, I guess we could also make a statement on the floor of course about right. okay. the two fifty. But I don't know we would have to have a meeting with the CIPC committee to see what people really felt. Bruce? So we're not making a recommendation relative to a CP CIPC request. We are making a recommendation on the Slugman's motion. I don't think we have a vote here. I think it's already been, it's already cast by the Slugman. Slugman voted $150,000. We can well, the vote the motion of the article. We can, that's where we should be making our vote, on the motion. I, I would bet the I would bet the select board would would, huh? would take a look at that again if you decided select, you wanted it to be voted. more. So we can still recommend that they. Of course, yeah. after the right. fact, people can make okay. people can make different decisions. I mean, if, if finance board makes a decision that you I, want to do I'd something make else, I'm an assumption here that when we look at the uh, we look at the warrant articles. Right. We're not going to re re review the financial ones, which we've already taken a vote of. That's just, the, op that's just the opposite of what we've done in the past. Any, any article that had money in it, we, voted, we made a recommendation. The, the uh, omnibus budget. Any article. We've already made a recommendation. Each one of these has been a recommendation of each of the items. But the warrant articles that are... The, the capital, capital, capital improvements, improvements made, we've actually made a recommendation on those. So then we don't, so what we've done 000. in the last couple of years has just been a waste of our time. We don't need, we, in the motions, we don't have to make a recommendation on Then we don't need to meet next week. Exactly. Point. Well, we don't have to, but the, the, uh, by, the bylaw, the so finance committee bylaw says that, I know. you know, we are, at least entitled to make a recommendation, or it's within our purview, I guess. Put it that it's way. It's not just the bylaw; that's that, that's uh, master of laws. Well, but the finance committee review all articles. Yes, but we have, but we, we also have it in the bylaws too. Right, but it's just a re uh, rewrite yes. of the mass yeah. general laws. It's where it came from. I'm getting a mixed message. Uh, I'm hearing <laughs> you say we've already made the recommendation. Yeah, me too. And then I hear it being well, said that we're going to come next week and make a recommendation. recommendation. But, I was still asking just about this item, so. <laughs> so uh, we're still in discussion. Okay, and I'm still confused because I was wondering if the if the culmination of the previous discussion was that there were people who wanted that number to be higher or people who wanted it to be lower. Yeah, I was just I trying to, to clarify that. I definitely want to. Be okay, that's that's what I thought. So, but I would vote against this. We got a motion on the floor about it, don't we? We, we do. do. So you that's why I was wondering hmm? if there was you can the motion. That's what I was wondering. I, I made a motion. To approve the one. Yeah, people. I know. And it's and been seconded. seconded. I believe you seconded it. I think Jeff did. Or, or Jeff called the course. Somebody did. Uh, is that, well, and Bruce is doesn't there want any further discussion it. on it? Do you want to and there has been further discussion. amendment to it. I mean, the selectmen will always look at something else. I don't, it's not, 
that we're not interested. We're we interested in doing this. <laughs> well, I'm well, only one, I think, but I think that I assume that they can look at it again. I don't know him. There's <laughs> a majority here. We know each other tonight. <laughs> okay. Is there any further discussion? No. If there is none, then we're taking a vote to recommend. Can I have just one question? <laughs> Good thing you were talking slow. Sorry. I, I was just thinking, I, I'm still struggling with this, and, and what I'm struggling about is the 150 compared to the 250. I know I'm looking at that 243 number, and that could be dropping, but I'm also thinking in my mind that if we continue to run the way we have been, which has been fairly consistent over the years, I, I'm looking at thinking all of a sudden in the fall we're going to end up with a, a $1.2 million free cash item. And I'm thinking to myself, if another $100,000 off that for the stabilization fund, uh, it, you, might be, it might be a good you, idea to maintain that to well, I, I, I Let me, before you, just let me yeah, interject please. that <laughs> we put we put $250,000 into it last year. Yes. And that, we put 500,000 into stabilization last year. And our starting point was 1.8 million. Right, yep. So this year we've got 1.2 million, mm -hmm. 1.3 mm -hmm. someplace. Roughly, there. right, yeah. So there's, there's a difference yeah. there of about 600,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, if the issue is that we tend to create or accumulate too much free cash in the fall, um, and we're, we're every year putting a little bit into stabilization, in a few more years, if this goes right, we could potentially budget less conservatively. But I think maybe now is not the time because we need to build up that stabilization first. When you look at capital stabilization, we started Putting money into that. Two years this, ago. this is yeah. So this is the third year. This would be the third year. And the point was to build up enough yeah. of a balance in there that, for the most part, we could do two things. We could then put money into the capital stabilization at some rate, whether it's fifty thousand dollars, or two hundred thousand, <laughs> or two hundred fifty thousand every year, and the capital improvement committee would then with recommend a withdrawal from capital stabilization Correct. to cover capital costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, there would, and we would not be voting Warren to article. take money exactly. from free cash yeah. to cover capital yeah. expense taking money out of capital stabilization fund. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're, that's the direction that we're going. So we just want to keep driving down that road. We, we want, well, the hope <laughs> is that we made the right yeah. decision back three years yeah. ago to, to have a capital stabilization yeah and to use that for uh, At a fall funding. town, special town meeting, are you able to see kind of where you're at in September, October after, and, and can you put capital stabilization in, in the fall special town meeting versus does it always have to be the annual town meeting? It always has to be the annual town meeting. And is the that, reason, that's the reason, that's the reason for law, that is that a, about six years ago, yeah. I think it was your first year here, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure, we didn't put, we didn't have a capital program oh, right. <laughs> in the spring because we had been spending money willy-nilly or whatever. You mean? And, and all of a sudden, here we had this, was it 1.5 million? I think so. 1.5 million capital, uh, or, or Free cash, okay. certified. Okay. We spent eight hundred thousand in the fall. Yep. That's right. On what? Uh, That's a good you question. Want. That's everything a really we want. Oh, I see. And I'm just talking just it was stabilization. A <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just like if you wind up like okay, the trend's moving. We're looking at one, two. Can we can we take a hundred thousand in the fall and put it only in the staff capital stabilization? I'm not talking like oh, let's buy trucks and whatever else. What do you, you, you gain from that? <laughs> It's well, it just maybe people feel a little more comfortable. It, it cuts a balance of, a, okay, we, you know, we, we made it through the year. We feel pretty good. I think it's safe to put that in there now versus waiting till the spring um, and seeing a large number at, you know, 1.2. Can we do a fall time review and say, look, we're looking pretty good. We can take another 150 
and slide it on over to capital. And let's let's say hindsight. Let's say last fall, we said, look, we've got 1.25 million. Why don't we just put 250,000 more? To... We could have. We could have. And then maybe we wouldn't have decided to do the cap for you. You know, it changed and, your decision. And then, maybe you wouldn't do the Oxford, right? Because you're like, oh, we don't have enough. Maybe burger. we wouldn't have decided to do anything on the town common. Right. Correct. Absolutely. Or you would say, hey, the money's in capital. I'm going to make a thing to go, hey, uh, this is where it's coming from. The money's in capital now. There's where my project's coming no, no, from. No, no, The common's going to do that. That's in the, intended in the for the Capital Improvement Committee to withdraw funds to, to be do capital projects. Yes. Yeah. And, the, and the common is a capital project. No, they said no. Well, they said yes to 40. Is there 40 yeah, out of the two capital? There's, there's, there's. Split it. They no. split it because right. they figured, well, you're going to do this in two years. The most you can get is 80. Right. And, and, or the most you're going to get is 400,000. So we're going to take 40 each year, which is 10% for design work. But we may need to spend more than $400,000 to they, do work. They were there. still trying to come up with a number is what happened. So we're yeah. going to get and, and the number we got, the back of the napkin number we got was about 95,000. And we think we can get that down a bit. For, for the engineering work. Um, so so I, that's why I was thinking if we were at Can, can we vote this and then we can yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, But I was just wondering about that question. Can we move that and look at this stuff as a policy in the fall to, to put some money away? I not would, spend it. I would like to have a policy from the selectmen that says we're not going to have any fall meetings where we spend money. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Having said that, Let's have a vote. All those in favor of putting 150000 into capital stabilization? Aye. Opposed? So that's 4-2, and I assume nobody's abstaining. Doesn't add up if we do. Yeah. <laughs> we're in trouble if they do. If we're the finance committee, we answer that. Uh, since we're, can I just want to continue that discussion for one minute? Mm -hmm. Okay. The request to the CIPC, I believe, was relative to complete streets. Um, in the no, fort, it, was it was not? It was not. It was to both. It was both. Yeah. Both. It was to both. Well, but, but the issue is you've got to do, it's like a chicken and an egg. I, that's right. my no, biggest yeah, dilemma. Yeah, I don't know how you to do both. Yeah. How do you request it? Because I, I want to plan well, the common. Well, let, me, let me continue that. Mm -hmm. If we get awarded, uh, if we get awarded any money, what's our first task? Well, the first, the the first money is engineering. You get money for engineering. No, first, what we get money for is prioritization. Correct, and we have of, and that's what of I think all of the sidewalks in town. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do first, and then we come up with a construction estimate of what we're going to do when we reapply next year. Right. For construction money, correct. With design of that specific section of street, but it might not even touch the common. I get you, but but we're going to spend money on the common because eventually, at some point in time, we're going to need to know how to make a crosswalk. Well, the issue with so the 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 committee that has been formed and has been working for two years is only worried about the common. Right? The common is getting new sidewalks and benches in. That's where that How, started. Where, where is that money coming from? What money? Sidewalks and benches in the common. Well, that's what my capital request was. That's where we started. $15,000? Excuse me? For $15,000? No, you're, you're, missing, you're, you're mixing two things up, Bruce. So two years ago, Selectman put together a committee to look at the common because we've had issues where the sidewalks aren't safe, and the benches are falling apart. So the only thing we looked at, the common committee, for two years was like, how do we improve those two things? And we hit a, we hit a brick wall because we did not want to go and do any investment on design or spend any money on this thing without knowing, OK, where are the, where are the crosswalks going to go? If those are going to move, then we better not touch this common yet. So, so then. Diana came, and we finally get in this complete streets thing going again. And so we're like, okay, well, that makes sense. Let's let's study that first, figure out where that goes, and then try and go back. And if, if we know, if we know, then go back and just just I'm not looking for the Taj Mahal, but just some safe crosswalks. Because if you ever look the the seniors or veterans trying to stand there, 
They're almost falling down with the walkers at, at a memorial service. Excuse me. Fix this. I don't remember falling down. And You're I not a senior both, citizen. I am both a senior I citizen. citizen. And a veteran. Yeah. Well, I'm well, not let me just clear. Let me just clear up. So your priority is going to be the sidewalks around the common. That that was yes. I mean, if that's the case, then it makes sense. But if that is not the priority of the community, you you should not. Correct. You won't be able to spend that fifteen thousand dollars. Correct. Correct, and, and this is only just, to, and I may not spend any of it. Right, spend because any of it might not be a priority. Correct. All the sidewalks yes. in town might and, take priority. Correct, and my, my main question was um, ha, ha, the chicken and the egg. What do we do first and then have this priority plan? Let's see where it all lays out. I have heard from constituents that the common and the sidewalks around that for safety and ADA compliance, that's what I was hearing as, as, a, as a leader of town. People were telling me, we need to fix the sidewalks and the downtown sidewalks need to get done and the common needs to get done. So that's kind but of where I have $4, started. $4,000, that only goes a very short distance. Very short distance, yeah. Okay, as long so, as you understand that. Yeah, we're probably, I mean, my issue is my, the only reason Then you should, have had, two, you should have had two requests. One for a town common improvement. You could make the intersection improvement across both of those. But you can't. You could. You, you can't until you, you know can. what that 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 crosswalks. So the, you, you can do, you can do, do an engineering study including that entire intersection, both sides of the. Yes, street. and that's the estimate I got was ninety five thousand bucks to get started. Was just for, just for the side just for the uh, common. No, the sidewalks around. Well, I guess we're missing cars here, Bruce. No, we're not. I'm fine. I'm here. I'm telling you what the engineer is telling us, and. I don't know which way to go first, so I'm afraid 40 grand isn't enough to get that project started one way or the other. So there Bruce, we are. Just so you know, the capital improvement committee had some of the same concerns of course. And, and questions and that. And I sat with Diana <clears throat> and explained the forty thousand dollars, right? Why it was going to be needed, why it was going to be used, how it was going to be used. If you received a full four hundred thousand dollar grant for for the sidewalk. We haven't even gone through the phase of prioritizing mm -hmm. sidewalks in town, so you can apply for construction. Mm -hmm. I agree. So and the question is, why are we asking for money? But that's the point. It's already approved. It's going to be voiced at town meeting. If you're you missing wanted. the other part, Bruce. I, that, that's fine. I'll, you can explain it at town meeting. Yeah, well. can, can I throw the my other part? Is that the common needs to get done? Can no I question. Throw my right. part into this? Yes. Move it's on. It's not your meeting. <laughs> it's called. The permanent building committee that that someplace along the way we've got the group that's looking at some of the buildings we've got in town maybe it's all of them we've got somebody out there looking at at the wastewater treatment plant yep. they've got somebody looking at the commons and whatever else and we've got no one group we can turn to right. and say What's give us a priority yep. what are our priorities what are our not okay. a wish list. I've said that now. Hmm? <laughs> I lay them out often, but you know. Well, I, I mean, I put a proposal, gave it to the board of selectmen a year ago, and for never what? heard back from it. Building proposal for, what? for permanent building committee. Yep. Per I thought we had a building committee. Permanent building permanent committee. building committee. A bylaw, a town bylaw yeah. that establishes yeah, a building, 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 building committee and assigns committee. that committee responsibilities. Yep. And uh, the selectmen yeah, saw it coming and went like this. Are you it looking right there? <laughs> All right, so I get my two cents worth it. Uh, do we have anything else? Nope. Yes. Oh. Um, both John, Patrick, and myself expressed concern that the general liability and umbrella liability allocated to SCEMS that in the budget is $200 was way too low. I met with the insurance agent and it's reasonable at 200 bucks because if the malpractice liability, let's say, which is probably where the big exposure is for the scams, mm -hmm. is included in the town's general liability. There's no separate policy for it. And the general liability, and I'm probably one of both the liabilities, are based on revenues of the town. So if you take $15 million approximately revenue and skims... One million. No, well, 
Half a million. Half a million, Half right. A million it comes to 200, 250 bucks, which is what is in the budget. So, John Pachurik and myself I, I'm disappointed were wrong in thinking that. Huh? I am disappointed to be honest. <laughs> that, well, that's I get that really, sense. John, what were you hoping you did that? that? Well, well, that you just could just go along the way that somebody would say it really needed well. to be, you know, 2,500 bucks or something yeah. like that. But that's what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, just just for skins. Yep. Yes, and, just and, for skins. And the, the total The total general liability is approximately, general liability and umbrella is approximately 6,300 bucks. Okay. Hmm. For the whole time? For the whole time. Highway unit. Every police. Police. No, police has their own. Oh, they do? They have their own law enforcement. Sure, they carry guns. For 5,700. And public officials. Yeah, and then they have, they have another. <laughs> public officials? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, guys. <laughs> and if you keep screwing up, it keeps going. You really have to need it. <laughs> um, it's a deal. Uh, yeah. Did anybody want to talk about the two motions I handed out, or do you want to look at them? Yes. Oh, I I really, I, it's pretty <laughs> scant. I was saving the spot over here. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I you'll probably vote it. on them next week when you do the articles, well, if you if you do that. <laughs> what? That's right. Yeah. So this, this is the, uh, where it says Article 9. Yeah, it's the, it's the wastewater treatment. Right. Costs, sewer costs. Yeah. OK. And uh, so if you want to take a look at that, if you have any questions, we, we did vote. I think we voted all of these. You did. They, at least on the expense side. Uh, right. Right, and, and, and so this is this is the revenue where the revenue would come from. Yeah, the original budget that uh, Zach had presented is is this uh, with the higher two percent cola included. Um, you didn't actually see any detail for my increase in the cola for the wastewater treatment plant, so I just thought that way you could see it all in one spot. Yeah, yeah, and, and so you've got uh, skims as well. These are the two. Uh, the two enterprise funds. Enterprise funds. Any questions for Brenda? The only thing I have very quickly, and just so I don't have to look back, was what was Deerfield's assessment last year? Do you happen to know, Brenda? I, it was three hundred and twenty-seven thousand and change. It went up like three hundred bucks, four hundred okay. bucks, something like that. I was looking at that today. Leave in their retained earnings account. Pardon? What will this leave? What will this leave in their retained earnings account? I don't remember because they're using two hundred and forty-three thousand of retained earnings for their um, ambulance. So I think it uses up quite a bit of it. I I, I can't remember. Uh, okay, we started with five hundred and fourteen oh seventy-seven. Ha! Huh. Oh. I remember. <laughs> you 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 <laughs> said you you okay. said oh so, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I just happen to remember that. 514077. <laughs> and then how much are we using here? Um, uh, 231077. 077. And then they're using 243,000 for us. Uh, so at least 40,000 in retained earnings. Uh, plus whatever we put in. There's another five or 6,000, Kip, for the um, changing over the vehicle lights for the didn't the committee approve when they get the police vehicle to put markings on it? They didn't they approve a dollar amount for that? Yes, I believe it was five thousand dollars. That's what I thought. What are you talking about? To mark the chase vehicle. Capital improvement. 
it's not on the sheet. Oh, right, because it's just, you know what, it's in their budget. Uh, mm, it's not really a capital item, so uh, Zach it's and I talked about it, and he felt that it would, it would be included in his budget. Whose budget? In, in, it's in the SCIMS budget, basically, so as an expense item. It, it's in there, it was in there to begin with the, before they voted, so. Pardon? It was in there before they voted the budget. They, right. No, it's, they voted this 5000 after the budget was approved. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's, you know, it's for $5,000. He can, he can find room in his budget. Jeff, you and I talked about that, I know, so hmm. I remember now. <clears throat> okay, what else? I had a question. Um, I sent you an email about street lighting. and um, I didn't get it. What's that? You didn't get it? <laughs> I, I was, excuse me, I didn't look at it. You didn't look at it. <laughs> so uh, when I was at MMA in the winter, I ran into a guy. Um, what did that cost you? It was very cheap. I had insurance. <laughs> um, I, uh, he was, you know, he does street lighting assessments and stuff. He's working with Longmeadow, a bunch of, bunch of towns around the area. Um, so I gave him kind of our inventory. And Kevin's working on getting a current number for payoff. Yeah. Um, and I was going to try and have him come out, you know, sometime in May, middle of May, after everything kind of settles and do a presentation. Anyone's welcome to come and see where that shakes out. And if it's something you want to do in 2021 or for later. For changing over street lights to LED lights. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, just based on the rough numbers, it was about a 5.7 year payback. And then a, I don't want to misquote, it was either 10 or 20 years was a, was a, $200,000 savings or something like that. But I just don't know if all those numbers are correct. So Kevin's going to get me the buyback number from Eversource. And then we're just, just curious because it was any, a topic and we wanted to see if you guys want I wonder if there's any grant money available for something like that. Yeah. There might be, yeah. I Sunderland. Mean, I, hmm. Sunderland received a grant for it. Sunderland did? Yep. So we ah. should look into that and see what yeah. this was just his kind of assessment. Yeah, I mean, like a Green point. Communities grant? No. Um, it's like the complete streets. It's in that. It's in that genre of grant. Okay. Huh. We should look into that. See where it gets the money to do that. But, so I'll bring that to you guys when I have it. Yeah, you, you'd mentioned that to me when I saw you yesterday. Oh, yes, that's I right. I still would look at it. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. No real rush on that. I just thought he wanted to come out now, and I said just maybe after the oh, election. Dude, tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. Yes, tomorrow night. If I if, yeah, hope everyone's coming. Um, for five o'clock. Five o'clock, yep. Uh, Dave Prickett will be here to do a slight presentation, of pre-presentation of town meeting, I guess, okay. on what we're trying to tackle for the sewer and see where the town feels like we want to go. In bringing that up, are we looking to request 19 yes. million? Yeah. It's all you. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, I, I guess I will ask and see where it goes. I, we'll do a presentation and see what the flavor is of the town, if they want to move forward or not. Mm -hmm. so the Capital Approval Committee approved that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well, definitely. Ten percent. You have it you have it in your five year <laughs> Right. We have it in the five year plan, but not for nine nineteen million. <laughs> I think that one's gonna be amended. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> I think we had it for about nine hundred and fifty five thousand. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah, and that was postponed. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else. I'll entertain uh, the motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous?